this video is meant to talk through this map that is here. Okay, so we can um, want to go ahead and just show you what is on the map first before going through any of these problems. So here we have grams of magnesium. We have moles of magnesium, moles of hydrochloric acid, moles of hydrogen gas, and then milliliters of hydrogen gas. And all of this corresponds with this balanced equation up at the top. So the balanced equation reads one mole of magnesium plus two moles of hydrochloric acid yields one mole of hydrogen gas plus one mole of magnesium chloride. Okay, so you'll notice that in between all of these boxes, we have the ratios that allow us to convert between different units. Okay, all we are doing is converting here. Okay, so to start off with, we're given this first problem and we're asked, we have 0 0.03 moles of magnesium metal. How many moles of hydrochloric acid are required to completely react? Okay, so the first thing we do always with these problems is we write down what we are given. And here we are given 0 0.03 moles of magnesium. I wrote that a little sloppy, but. Okay, so we have moles of magnesium, which is right here. Okay, so if I'm here, oops, and I'm trying, that's not gonna work. <laughs> if I'm here and I'm trying to get over here to moles of hydrochloric acid, this is the conversion that I'm going to use as I'm, as I'm going from one to the other, okay? So what we need to make sure of is that whatever unit is at the top here is the unit that is at the bottom of the next fraction. Okay, so we have moles of magnesium at the bottom of the next fraction, and these are, this is our conversion. So one mole of magnesium to two moles of hydrochloric acid. Something else you'll notice, because you might be wondering where are these numbers coming from? We have one mole of magnesium here, one mole of magnesium here, two moles of, of hydrochloric acid here, two moles of hydrochloric acid here. Okay, so these numbers are coming from the molar ratios within our balanced equations. Okay, so we solve this out. And whenever you're solving these, you always want to multiply across and then divide. So 0 0.03 times two, and we get 0 0.06. Oops, I meant for that to be on here. Okay, and we get moles of hydrochloric acid because moles of magnesium and moles of magnesium cancel out. All right, so the next question that's asked is how many moles of hydrogen gas will be produced? Okay, so moles of hydrogen gas is right here. We could start here again and then kind of make our way through. Or since we have moles of hydrochloric acid here, we can just start here. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my moles of hydrochloric acid. And again, since moles of hydrochloric acid is the unit in the numerator, I'm going to make that my unit in the denominator. And then I look back up at my, at my map. So going from moles of hydrochloric acid to moles of hydrogen gas, I have this one to two ratio between moles of hydro, hydrogen gas and moles of hydrochloric acid. Okay, so a two goes next to the moles of hydrochloric acid and then I have one mole of hydrogen gas, okay? And so just like before, just so that you can actually see what I'm doing here, um, so you would go oops, 0 0.06 times one equals, and then you divide by the two here. So we get 0 0.03. And again, moles of hydrochloric acid cancels out. Now, just to kind of show 
just to prove that you would have gotten the same answer if you had started if you had started here with the moles of magnesium. So if we are so we had 0 0.03 mole of magnesium over one. Mole of magnesium is at the top, so that's what I'm going to put at the bottom. Okay. Um, so I first need to go here and then over one more. Okay. So one mole of magnesium to every two moles of hydrochloric acid. So that gets us here. We still need to go here. So mole of HCl to one mole of H2. And just looking at this, so my units cancel out, but also I have a two in the numerator and I have a two in the denominator, so those could cancel out. So we still get the 0 0.03 moles of hydrogen gas, okay? So whether you started with the hydrochloric acid or if you went back to the beginning and started with the magnesium, you would still get the same answer there, okay? All right, for this next question, how many milliliters of hydrogen gas is that equivalent to? Okay, and for this one, so we have milliliters of hydrogen, mil, or I'm sorry, moles of hydrogen and milliliters of hydrogen gas. And there's one um, conversion between those. So I'm just gonna start with my moles of hydrogen gas, which is 0 0.03 mole of H2. I always put that over one. Whatever the unit up here is, is the unit that goes down below. And then I look back up at my conversion. So here on the map, I have one milliliter is equal to one and then, point, or I'm sorry, zero point and then four zeros, four five moles of hydrogen gas. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, four five moles of hydrogen gas for every one milliliter. Okay, so looking at my calculator, so I have 0 0.03 times one equals divided by 0.123445, and we get this very large number always remembering that we want to round to the hundredths. Moles of H2 cancels, and we're left with milliliters of H2. And that should be a lowercase n, not, a low, not an uppercase n.